Hey guys, so today I am going to do a video on my favorite perfumes in my collection for the end of summer, fall time. Yeah, so these are all gonna be female scents, just to let you guys know. I am kind of shocked, but very happy. I've gotten a lot of men um, DMing me and commenting on my things, saying that they like my content and stuff. Are you kidding? You know that's not gonna end. That's not gonna end anytime soon, so I'm just gonna keep going because there's really no point in just like pausing every time I hear something. Anyways, let's just get started. Again, all female scents. If you're a man who loves more feminine fragrances, this video is also for you. But if you guys do want a male-oriented fragrance video for the end of summer slash autumn, let me know down below and I'll definitely do that because I have quite a bit of male fragrances in the household. I mean, they are my dad's, but I mean, they are my dad's, but I literally have given him every single one except for one. So technically they're all mine. All right, so I have multiple fragrances and it ranges from sweet to spicy to floral to anything. Let's just get started. I'm gonna start with the most popular fragrance in my collection and it's Ariana Grande's Cloud. The reason why I think that this fragrance is really good for the end of summer slash autumn is because it's very sweet. I'm gonna take it out of the actual cloud part. If you guys don't like the like cheap chunky parts, get rid of it, who cares? I just like it for the cloud one. I have thank you next as well, but I got rid of the heart because that bitch was ugly. The reason why I think that this is a good fragrance for the autumn is because it's very clean and sweet. So it has this like very sweet, fragrance to it so it's definitely not for the day-to-day -day wear in the summertime if it's like I'm in Kentucky and it's now getting to 70 degrees and that's like on a rare occasion it's still very much 80 degrees and very humid again sorry for that it's just gonna be happening the whole entire time I think it's just a really good fragrance for a very hot summer night or during the day when it starts getting 70 to 60 degrees because even though it's very, very sweet, it has a cleanliness to it that not many other wintry sweet fragrances do have. And because it has that cleanliness to it, it's not overwhelmingly sweet. Like you can sweat and you don't feel like it's suffocating you, if that makes sense. However, if it's like 90 degrees and very sunny, I wouldn't really wear this. It's just, it is a little too sweet for that but for like a 70 degree day it's like the perfect sweet fragrance into summer early autumn great fragrance it's ariana grande's cloud then i guess i'll do a fragrance that i made this is monte carlo the reason why i even i put my fragrances in this section is because you can order these at aroma workshop just say that it's monte carlo by olivia day they can make it and send it to you the reason why i say this is because it's a very warm spicy fragrance but it definitely has the summer capabilities i think i said in my perfume collection it smells like a yacht it smells like a sailboat it smells like the world's nicest sailboat and you're in your sweater because it's so cold because you're going so fast it just smells like that it smells rich it smells like kind of like this outfit to be honest like black gold shiny but you're tanned if that makes sense and you have to be tanned and bronzed and glowing but it's definitely for the end of summer this is definitely for the night time in the summer when you're starting to wear your knit sweaters like your white knit sweater finally comes out this is perfect for that if you have like a mom who likes designer fragrances it kind of smells like that so if you don't like that adult fragrance i wouldn't go for this if you like a more sweeter spice your fragrance but youthful i'll get into a fragrance for that for the women who like fragrances that make you feel rich with old money sailboats late summer nights this is it i guess this kind of gives the same vibe as you can tell i love this fragrance kind of half and half though because i can wear this it looks like i don't use that much but this lasts longer than this one and that's just joe malone joe malone doesn't last for shit this is wood sage and sea salt this fragrance is virtually the exact same idea of this 
just a little bit less, if that makes sense. It's a little bit less spicy, a little bit less old. This one smells like rich date night money. This smells like sweet rich date night money. It's a little bit more youthful than that one, but they're both really good for late nights in the summer when it's still warm and it's when you want to wear something more heavy, but heavy for the summertime. It's not heavy like winter. I will do a video on winter fragrances, but for now, this is heavy for the summertime. Like this isn't anything special. Like I would wear this right now and it's sunny. It's like 80 degrees outside and I could wear this. This one is like 70 degrees. This one's like 80 degrees, depending on your personality as well. If you like heavier fragrances, you might like this one. And if you like lighter, sweeter fragrances, then you might like this one. This one's like an in-between of Cloud and Monte Carlo. So I have another celebrity fragrance in this video and I'm not really that big on celebrity fragrances. I only have three, which sounds crazy because a lot of people don't even have one. But you know, I always like to give any fragrances a chance and this was at TJ Maxx for $9. So I was like, fuck it, I'll try it. Cause I've wanted to try it. And it smells so freaking good. It's ridiculous. This is Private Show by Britney Spears and it's one of my favorite fragrances for as of right now. It's like a coffee fragrance. It lasts so long on my clothing. Like I'll spray it going to bed or something. And then the next night when I wear the same pajamas, smells exactly like my fragrance and not like faded. It's like the exact same quality amount of fragrance. It's just amazing. Anyways, I don't know if I just said this, but it's a coffee fragrance so it's a sweet vanilla coffee fragrance and i love the coffee in this because it gives it that warmth without being too sweet like if you've ever smelled roasted coffee it just makes you think of the morning or like coziness but it's not overpoweringly sweet it's like this beautiful fragrance that i love and then when it's put into everything that is in this fragrance mwah, chef's kiss if you want to know more about any of the notes of any of the fragrances besides mine. The link to their Fragrantica profile will be down below. I was with a friend the other day and I was trying to tell her about this perfume that I thought she would really like. And I was like, it smells like alien, but it's a little bit more summery, blah, blah, blah. And I was like showing her all the notes and she's like, you can read that and know what it says. So I'm thinking for my YouTube videos, instead of telling you the notes, um, I might highlight some notes like coffee in this one, but I won't just list them out because I don't really think the typical consumer knows how to differentiate between like vanilla, French vanilla, whipped vanilla, like anything like that. Wow, maybe my nose can. Instead, I'm just gonna give you guys descriptions of what it does, how it plays on the skin and things like that, so. For how cheap it was, again, $9, technically $9.99, but you know what? I'm just gonna say $9. It was under 10, maybe a penny less, but you know, whatever, it was still under 10. Amazing. You can get this on FragranceNet for like around $20, but if you're lucky enough to find it at TJ Maxx for $9, please snag it. It's amazing. It smells sweet, sophisticated. It smells like, I'm sorry, but Cloud got Fragrance of the Year Award, and it is a really good smelling fragrance, but Private Show by Britney. Britney just knows how to make fragrances. Like she's one of those very rare celebrities that can actually make like good fragrances back to back to back. Like, I don't know how she does it. She probably isn't, to be honest. She's probably just having a crew in the background doing it and then slapping her name on it. But I'm okay with that because it's really good. Back to why this is an end of the summer, late autumn fragrance, because you guys probably wanna know how coffee and vanilla come together and make end of the, the summer sweet fragrance. And I don't know how to describe it, you guys. Like I know that there's a, quite a bit of fruits in here, so that might be why. I think that's the main reason why I didn't want to get this is because it had so many fruits in the notes section that I was kind of worried that it would be too fruity. So when I saw it for $9, I was like, you know what, whatever, it's $9. If I don't like it, I don't like it. But it's not fruity. It's not a fruity fragrance, but there are fruit notes in it. It's like having a black, oh my gosh, yes. 
It is like having a black forest cake. Like you know how a black forest cake is chocolate cake, but it's like there's cherries, like maraschino or black cherries in the recipe and like as decoration, it's that. Like it's, it's, there's no chocolate in it. So pretend it's like a coffee vanilla cake. It's like the vanilla cake and then there's fruit decorating it and making it just like prettier and like tasting a little bit more expensive than just a vanilla cake. She took a cake mix and just made it better. All right, so another fragrance that is sweet and vanilla-y, but is one of my favorites because of how well they did it. And it's always so hard to take this damn cap off for some godforsaken reason. But this is, this is her by Zadig and Voltaire. Firstly, this packaging is amazing. T I talked about this in my perfume collection video. I really wanna get the This Is Him only because I wanna see if they connect. And if they do, that would just make my day. But if they don't, whatever, I'll just like give it to one of my friends or my dad probably. These two are kind of similar because I think, I do believe I put pink pepper in this one or black pepper essential oil. I do not remember. I don't remember what I put in this, to be quite honest. I think this is one of my most complicated fragrances and I put like 10 notes in this and that's like virtually unheard of, especially at my place. But this one also has pepper in it and I think it's known for its vanilla and pepper. I must say that the reviews on Fragrantica did say that either people loved, loved, loved it like I do or they hate it because the vanilla is pretty synthetic smelling. I do very much get that idea. It does not smell like real vanilla. It smells like a perfume vanilla. So that can get a little, just like a tiny bit annoying for the perfume connoisseur, I guess. To me, I don't really care. I like it. If it smells good, it smells good. I have worn this so many times out at night in the summertime, and every single time I wear it, all of my girlfriends are like, can I borrow your perfume? Like, I've never met a single person who doesn't like this. And all the guys ask me what I'm wearing, like they like how I smell. They don't make this anymore, that's the only problem. So I found this on Fragrance X and it's all constantly sold out. It just smells really good. It smells sweet and peppery and clean. I don't know the exact note that makes it clean, but one of my friends says I wear quite powdery fragrances and it does have a powdery, like the slightest powdery note. So I believe that's what makes it clean to me. It's not overwhelming, but I do have to say like, you can't wear this during the day in like early summer, but you can definitely wear this during the day in late summer, early autumn, or especially during the nighttime. Like I was wearing this at night in the summer. So I definitely recommend this fragrance for anyone who likes sweet peppery fragrances and especially on the peppery. It's a clean, clean, peppery vanilla fragrance. Highly recommend. And then the last fragrance is one of my oldest fragrances, actually. And this is Bulgari's Mon Jasmine Noir. I like, never see anyone talk about this. And I think I've watched one perfume collection where someone roasted this. And I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea why because this is my one of my oldest and this is one of my most beloved fragrances. I got this in high school. Should a high schooler be wearing this? I mean, they can and can't do what they want, but I wouldn't recommend it. it is so old and sophisticated. I don't think I ever wore an outfit that represented this fragrance well. Although maybe by senior year, I was pretty fashionable. So, but I was like wearing this like sophomore year of high school, I had no business doing that. I never look at this fragrance and think it's too youthful and it makes me think of high school. Like I never associate it with high school. It's just one of those fragrances that I will be wearing for the rest of my life. It's so sexy, so floral and deep. Like it's a spicy, spicy floral. And the reason why I'm putting this in instead of like waiting until springtime, which I probably will still put it in my springtime video, to be quite honest. But the reason why I'm putting it in this video as well for early autumn is because it is just so sexy. Like you can wear this in the summertime because it's floral and it has those notes of like cleanliness, but it's so deep and sweet that it is 
I wouldn't say it's so sweet, to be quite honest with you. It doesn't really have any notes in it that's sweet besides jasmine. Like it, it doesn't have like a vanilla to me. It's nothing like that, but it does smell like a sweet amber you want to wear when you want to cozy up with like a beige sweater and you're just like, this is one of those fragrances you can wear by a campfire, but if you're having a campfire because it's cold. You're in your sweatshirt or anything. Like it's a sexy fragrance and I can wear this with this nice outfit where I'm wearing like a nice black dress and dangly and full makeup and feel sexy. But at the same time, you can wear it while wearing a sweatshirt. You're just casually hanging out with your friends. Like it's still sexy, but it's not like lingerie sexy. It's like a matching underwear set sexy. I don't know why that just makes total sense to me. Like I wear matching sets all the time, day to day, and it makes me feel sexy, but it doesn't make me in the mood, if that makes sense. This is one of those fragrances that it's super sexy, super seductive, but it's not like an aphrodisiac or anything. It's just, it's not setting a mood, but it could. I just recommend it for the ladies who like to wear floral fragrances because everyone needs to be represented when it comes to perfumes, whether you're spicy, sweet, floral, anything. I just think that this fragrance is perfect for a floral gal and she wants to find something warmer for the colder months. It's getting colder, so I think that this is perfect for late summer, early autumn, and so on. So. All right, so that's it for my end of summer slash autumn fragrances that I highly, highly recommend out of my perfume collection. And if you guys do like these videos, please leave a thumbs up down below so I know that you guys want me to create more seasonal fragranced videos. If you also want to talk to me, leave a comment down below and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.